Hey guys, it's Fabian Barrow here, and it's Fab's Flashbacks. In this first episode, I want to go through the World Championship 2019 in Mont saint -Anne. It was absolutely new to the event and a great battle. So the World Championship always been a very unique event for me. And having Troy Brosnan on board is, is definitely a unique goal that we had. And we know that the battle was going to be hard. Uh, obviously, from Loic Bonny to Amory Piron and all the other challenges that are behind, the title is, uh, is very expensive to own. And, uh, and the price to pay is, is commitment and dedication. And I have to say that I was super proud and happy to see how Troy invests himself into the goal. We work on visualization, we worked on uh, precision of the track, the, the timing on each corner from the breaking point all the way to the letting it go. Every single passage we calculated and visualized it to be able to put it into place. But where I was the most impressed was when the race came. And we could feel the pressure coming on and the work that has been done by, by Troy there was, uh, was something that was mentally bringing him to a second level. When the race moment came, the emotion I had from seeing, you know, every single passage happening exactly the way we defined it. The right breaking point, the right momentum, the right uh, tenths of a second to every single passage actually brought us, I was with Gabe, and finish line into so much emotion that I was like, that's the one. He is making it happen, and that's the one. And every corner, momentum going all the way down, we could see that the rhythm and the flow was just right there. And the clock tick with a big green light right all the way to the bottom at the finish line. And the emotion was absolutely unique on our side. And then we came back to reality. Mr. Super Bruni arrived on track. We saw the first split already being green, and we were like, whoa, second split being green again, like super tight, super, super tight. But every time being green, being green, like he was on the front of Troy, and Loic was right there doing an amazing run. And I was seeing like everything happening. Obviously, Troy was close to us, and obviously, Gabe was like right behind me. And we were like, okay. It's going to be a last finish sprint. It's going to be all the way out there. And obviously, Loic win was, was fantastic to me. I was super happy for him. He's doing an amazing career. But the disappointment for Troy, um, even if, if he was still having the smile, on the, uh, the smile on the face, it was something that was really hard to do. I was really impressed by Troy's attitude, how much he's a real champion. Even if it's a second place, I did say that um, under pressure, the carbon transform in diamond. And that sometimes, for this reason, the second place is worth gold. And uh, I have to say that that's what Troy did on that weekend. He was a maximum speed with, with a maximum of dedication, which, which is the summit of the heart of our sport. So for sure, there is a mixture of emotion by being a second place, but also to uh, give our best as a team, as an athlete, and obviously the fantastic World Championship title in junior category from Kaya Hearn was uh, also a very um, unique moment of emotion for our global team. That's why we are a team, we are a family, we're supporting our leaders, but we all work together and this is absolutely fantastic about the sport we're going through. This was an overall great memory, so don't hesitate to join me for the next episode of Fab's Flashbacks.